been a while since I've done a video. My hair is looking pretty sweet, so I figured I'd go ahead and do one. Um, it's been a while, like I said. So, got the old truck warming up. I'm about to take some trash off in it. Um, figured I'd do a little update video on everything. So, the RX-7, I still have it. It's got a freshly painted hood now. Pretty crazy to see, I know. There you go. Now you can see it better. But, looks like I have managed to hurt a piston in this thing. Um, this is a factory LS2, if you don't know. And uh, it was, I was going to work the other day and I made a 60 to 130 hit with the draggy. And uh, by the time I got done, it started smoking really bad at idle. Couldn't figure out why. And um, when I came back uh, from work that night, uh, it seemed to be fine. It wasn't smoking or anything. And uh, drove it back to work and back home, which is another 100 mile round trip. Seemed fine. Um, when I got home, it was just a little bit of smoke. So whenever I, uh, cranked it up in the driveway the next day, I went ahead and put it on the two-step. And it uh, started, for one thing, it pushed the freeze plug out of the head back here. And I thought I heard a little tapping coming from it. And I was right. Um, I put the freeze plug back in and put some ICT billet block off plates um, on the head to hold the uh, freeze plugs in. And whenever I started it up, it was doing a whole bunch of tapping and it was misfiring. So I'm thinking that I got a piston on this thing. Uh, and my plan is I'm gonna drain the oil on it and cut the filter open and make sure it's not a bearing or something that's gone bad. And if it's just a piston, um, I might pull the motor out and I have the LC9 in there and I have this. And I'm probably going to look at both of them and decide whether which one I want to put some forward stuff in and uh, finally try to get something reliable in this thing and see where to go from there. Um, I don't know if I've showed this car yet on the channel other than a walk around video, but this is a 1980 Fairmont. Um, it's kind of a sloppy mechanic style build. Um, when I bought it, it had some uh poverty stars on it uh, ford stars i mean not ford stars uh race stars on it and i hate those wheels so i've got these <coughs> weld rts's from uh ralph at merlin machining and the head gasket was leaking externally so i went ahead and put a head gasket on this thing and while i was doing that i cleaned everything up under the hood and it looks like you see it now. So I painted the engine bay and uh, polished the radiator and the charge pipe and painted the brackets. And I wanna get a turbo blanket for the <coughs> turbo exhaust housing and I'm gonna rewrap that and kinda of redo that downpipe a little bit cause I don't really like it. But this car is pretty, pretty rowdy. It made 790 on uh, 17 pounds on the 85 and it's a 60 gen 4 4 l 80 e with a terminator x max ecu in it and uh, i really think this car will foot brake some nine second passes pretty easily um so we're gonna see eventually i bought that for the wife to drive so hopefully in the future videos you'll see her driving it um at the track on low boost i've got it on pump gas right now making about seven pounds so we're gonna see what it'll do, but for the RX-7, I got some decisions to make. So here's the LC9 that I have. Sorry, it's kind of it's kind of blurry, but um, this is the LC9. It is a reman motor. Um, I'm not sure who remanufactured it, but it doesn't have many miles on it. Um, I know you're not supposed to, but even looking at the cam bearings, um, they are like, pretty mint if you've ever seen what the cam bearings look like in these things with any kind of runtime. 
they're usually down to the copper within I've had uh, <coughs> engines I've had apart that had 30,000 miles on them and they were down to the copper so but so this is the decision I have to make whether to drop some forged rods and pistons in this um, or drop it off a machine shop and have them go through and do the, the full rotating assembly on it or rebuild what I have in the RX-7 now. Um, I'm not sure. Depends on how much money I want to spend on this thing. Alright, let's see what our fate is on this engine being completely junk. Hopefully it's just a piston and not bearings. It doesn't sound like bearings to me, but we'll see. that 1540 draining pretty slow hopefully that's not a bad sign it doesn't look like it's silver or anything but I'll drain this out and get the oil filter off and cut it open all right so moment of truth I got the filter cut open if I can get this element out one-handed Ugh. This oil is so thick. Good news is I'm not seeing any metal in here at all. Zero. Yeah, there's absolutely no metal in here. So that's good. That's a good thing. All the bearings are probably fine in the engine. It's probably just a piston. It's always good. be it for this video for now just wanted to give you guys an update on everything um hopefully have some uh racing coming up in the next few months once it warms up a little bit but uh until next time we'll see you